Today we are talking strike killers, those horrible fats, those horrible thins, the toes, the heels, we all get them, but today we're gonna to fix them. Let's take a look at this lesson right now. As we get out on the golf course, we're not always gonna find the middle of the golf club face. It just doesn't happen. But what we would need to see is that if we were somewhere around the middle, i.e. about a 50 pence piece, a 10 pence piece, if we were somewhere near that middle slot, it would be okay because it's the, the other ones that really kill us. When we duff it, 30 yards when we're meant to be hitting it 150 when i hit it really out of the heel and i might shank it or i get it really badly out of the toe and it goes squirting off they kill our game if we could hit our irons where if i think my seven iron should go 160 and i hit it 140 150 on a little bit of a miss strike at least i'm up near my green at least i'm around there i've got a little chip instead of duffing it and having an eight iron now instead of the seven iron i've just hit so today using my body track here i'm going to give us two things that are causing bad strikes and then we're going to fix them so firstly we're going to look at hitting it either from the toe or the heel of the golf club so let me jump on here and make a swing for you and then take you through it one other thing i've sprayed my golf club face with some dry shampoo just so i can monitor my strike so make sure if you're going to go and work on your strike you need some feedback whether it's a line on the golf ball chalk whatever it is you've got to have something to monitor it a little bit so let's give this a little rip and see where we are at so i'm going to take my setup here good setup and then as i go into it here good swing and that one is not my best work it's gone careering out towards the right and as i've actually hit it because there's a bit of water on the golf ball here it was actually struck down at the bottom and has gone riding up across the club face now i'm going to flick on a little bit of the body track data to show you what happens and why you do actually get that shot so with that using the body track there what i did purposefully and as we'll see up on the screen here now this traces my pressure so as i'm stood to it and this is one thing that you know we can all be aware of and actually control during our golf swing we might not have the abilities to hit it like the tour pros but once we stand to a golf ball we've got to get awareness of where our weight is distributed and how the pressure moves throughout our golf swing because what i did then on purpose was as we look at the swing and you can see the two feet on the screen up here now as I was making the swing, the little red dot was working from side to side quite a lot, so quite laterally moving side to side. And then as I was getting down towards my impact position and then through into impact, and even as we saw at the end of the swing, I actually stepped forwards off the mat, everything was going more towards the toes there. You'll see the percentages rising up and going more and more towards that lead toe, in particular my left toe. And this is something that I see quite a lot down at the range when I get students in. You know, if I were to watch golf on TV on a Sunday, the final round, the players who are winning always look nice and balanced and really holding their finish. They're very poised, they watch the ball go out, they watch it land and they're stood in this position. And generally what we see is something like this where the lead foot, the toes have actually rolled up there because what they're doing is making sure as they stand to it, their pressure works round in the right points. So for you as a golfer, if you're getting too toey or heely, from that one I got a little bit heely and we saw it ride up the face and spin the face open, it was all because during that golf swing I made a point of going too much into my toes there. Again, you'll see it on those little, little um, videos there up in the corner. But what I did was do that. So as I do that on the way down, it pushes the heel of the golf club towards the golf ball because from looking down the line here, simply if I stand to a golf ball and then lean weight forwards, I push that heel of the golf club out in front of the golf ball and vice versa. If I now go too much towards my heels, the toe of the golf club gets pulled towards the center of the golf ball. So as I stand to it, when I hit this next one in a moment, what I've got to make sure is that A, 
the pressure is pretty much 50-50 or just slightly towards my lead side as I start. So I'd feel like 55% of my pressure towards my lead leg in the setup. Then from this angle here, I want to feel the pressure going more down the balls of my feet. I don't want to feel too much into my toes and I don't want to feel too much into my heels. Nice and athletic and down through the balls of the feet. So then when I make the next swing, I can then get a good solid strike and actually get the desired flight I want from the golf shot. So I'm just gonna respray my face and then we're gonna give it another go. So good setup now. I'm feeling that little bit more weight over the balls of my feet, not onto my toes like I did on the last one. If I make the good golf swing here, what we should see is a little bit of a different trace when I hit it. Okay, and a lot better strike there. Ball's gone out, a little bit of mud on the club face, but what we can see from here, we've just got the dimples up towards here now. Ball, totally different flight and has got away. Okay, so when we see the data from that one up here now, what we now actually see is that line, instead of it working laterally across, there was more of a twisting about it. It goes in towards my heels a little bit more, and then towards the end, instead of me falling forwards off the mat, we actually see that the pressure increases into my trail, into my, sorry, into my lead heel, and as we finished, we actually see that the toes were up and that, like I say, the pressure worked more towards that lead heel, giving me a really solid strike, good flight, desired distance, all simply by getting a better balance in my stance. So if you're someone who feels very toey or heel, make sure we're more over the balls of our feet. And then like, as we're going through the swing, it's more of a twisting into the trail heel, little shift and a twist into the lead heel not feeling more toes, heels, toes, heels. Twist it, twist it, we get our good turn and we get the desired strike as we want through there. Let's take a look at why you would duff some shots because I think that's one that's really happening to a lot of people out on the golf course. We see a lot of ground before golf ball or we see a lot of topped golf shots. Let's take a look at that now. And that is one that I would imagine we're seeing a lot of, that horrible little top shot. You even get this little dint into the ground where the ball's actually gone down into the ground and then popped up out of it. And again, it's all to do with how I'm moving that weight and my pressure throughout my golf swing. If we see this one up here now, what we'll notice is there's a lot towards the trail foot as I go throughout that golf swing. So instead of actually having a shift of pressure forwards in the downswing towards my lead foot and then turning into that heel, everything that I did, and even as you watch someone, you know, without a pressure mat and things like this, you can tell if they're behind it. The left leg would look very light if you watched it back in slow motion. And the right leg for me as a right-handed golfer, my trail leg is going down into the ground a lot more and all my pressure is going into this part of the, um, the foot. So then as I come down, my low point now is behind the golf ball here and then I raise up over it and I get that horrible top shot. It's not what we want. Again, if we think of those golfers on the Sunday that we watch on television, as they finish, every single one of them is stood with their torso posted over their lead leg. We don't see anyone in this position here. And if you think of your mates who you play golf with, or even yourself, when you get those shots, I bet you don't feel like you've got that grandstand finish and posing for the crowds. You actually feel like you're finishing back behind the golf ball and that's when we get it. So what we've got to do, if I just get this pegged up again here for me, so to get rid of that top, real simple thing. If we've got something, you know, whether it be a head cover, I'm going to use this kind of spray here. And I'm just going to place that down where the middle of my body is. What I want to try and feel now as I make this swing is that as I'm hitting, I don't feel behind it. I want to feel that I've shifted pressure in towards my front foot. And then as I hit, I'm then going to turn to face my target and try and get that grandstand finish. So as we take the setup here. The big feeling is not everything pushing down through the trail leg 
than helping it up to the sky. I'm getting in front and then I'm turning to hold and pose for the cameras as we go through. And what we should see is more pressure now going into that lead foot. So let's take a look here. Good setup, finding that way over the balls of the feet now as I start down, works into the lead side and turns. And even there, as I hit that one, that wasn't my best strike. But if we throw up the pressure trace again, what we will now see, because I've actually shifted and it was something like 70% on the previous one was at the trail side. As I go forward, we see the total polar opposite. Everything going into that lead side. So even if I don't quite get it, I still actually get a decent enough shot. I don't get that horrible top that's gone 20 yards. Like I said earlier, it's gone 140 instead of 160, but now I've got a pretty simple chip. I'm not getting a horrendous strike and seeing that I've got real issues to make up for as I go forwards in my game. So obviously I understand everyone's not gonna have a body track, but what I wanted to do is use that to highlight what actually goes on in your golf swing. And if you're more aware when you actually stand to the golf ball now where you feel the weight is as you're going through and it'll be a good thing to check in a mirror, have a look at yourself, feel it, rock a little bit back, heels, toes, trail, uh, trail side, lead side. If you can start to gain some awareness of where you're actually going with those, then we're gonna see that you get the better strikes. If you're someone who's behind it, I bet my bottom dollar there's a lot of pressure in that trail side getting to the lead side and if you're towing and heeling we're going to see that it's moving more toes and heels as you're swinging so guys i hope that video has helped for you hit the subscribe button if it has and you want more free golf lessons you're going to get them every week here with me give it a go share it with someone as well who's struggling to get that strike if you're struggling as well come see me in person always willing to help guys thanks for watching i'll see you in the next lesson